other top story tonight, back to school shopping. It's teaching parents a tough lesson on inflation right now. From basic school supplies to new clothing, prices are on the rise. In fact, 42% of parents say they plan to take on some debt to cover the costs. CBS 8's Steve Price takes a closer look at this year's prices. Steve? Some students across our county have already started the new school year. Thousands more will be heading back to class over the next couple of weeks. But no matter when they start, there is one thing that's the same across the board. The cost of getting ready for that first day is going up. A lots of notebooks this year. Brittany Fio is hoping to make the grade, shopping for everything on her son's school supply list. Um, so they're asking actually, you know, for more, I'd have to say. Um, but I understand why. I mean, it's harder to provide those things. With inflation on the rise, the best back to school deals are already sold out. I do not know where they're at. Forcing parents like Brittany to just buy what's left. Completely cleared out. I mean, empty bin. So that's why we were circling, because we had to go and find what we could. According to a new survey from JLL Retail Research, nearly 60% of back to school shoppers say they're looking for sales, coupons, and deals. That's what we do. We look around and we shop for deals. Um, <laughs> so as soon as it goes on sale, I snag it up if I know we're going to need it. The survey also found 49% of parents plan to buy less. How much you spend depends on the items you need to get. But when a list of 13 popular back to school items were bought at Walmart, Target, Staples and Walgreens, the total bill ranged from $26 up to 38, showing that comparison shopping can save you quite a bit. Throw in some new clothes, though, and the bill can jump substantially. Clothes definitely pricier. Um, uh, in Target, I've noticed an increase in price, so generally, like, we will go to Amazon to find certain items because we can find them cheaper there. JLL found most parents will spend around $339 getting their kids ready for the new school year. That's up more than 5% from last year. In Claremont Mesa, Steve Price, CBS 8.